from Public Radio International. It's the showcase for the best young classical musicians in the country. From the top. This week we're broadcasting from the home of the San Francisco Symphony, Davies Symphony Hall in San Francisco, California. That's our host, Christopher O'Reilly, at the piano. Today we'll hear outstanding musicians from 14 to 17 years old, including a young violinist performing the opening movement of the Walton Concerto and a teenage string quartet performing a movement from Borodin's Quartet No. 2 in D. From the top's home is New England Conservatory's Jordan Hall in Boston. Our program is made possible by the U.S. Department of Education. Additional funding comes from this and other public radio stations. Once again, here's our host, Chris O'Reilly. We are overjoyed to be coming to you from the most beautiful city in the country, San Francisco, and the most beautiful concert halls in the country, Davies Hall. It's just extraordinary to see so many people here, too. God, I'm getting nervous. This is really great. Thanks for all coming out today. And a special thanks to our host for today's show, the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra. Great, great folks. Appropriately enough, all of our kids today are from California. Coming up, more outstanding performances by young musicians, including a performance of the Nocturne from the Borodin Second String Quartet by a teenage ensemble from Berkeley, and we'll meet a cellist who would one day like to be a Supreme Court judge and a fashion model. Here again is Chris O'Reilly. Chris? Uh, yeah, Joanne... Sorry, uh, I just don't quite believe my eyes. Is a, is that Max? Yeah, it's Max Zuckerman, the guitarist who's supposed to play next with Meta, and he's skateboarding on the stage of Davies uh, Hall. You better bring her out. Absolutely. Haley? Haley Goldbach, get out here now. Chris, Chris, I can explain everything. Uh, and Max, could, could I get you to stop for a second and come over here, please? Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, explain yourself, young lady. Chris, it's no biggie. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to let Max skateboard on stage. Well, to sort of make a point. What point would that be? Why don't you tell him, Max? Well, I really like skateboarding, but in San Francisco, they aren't very supportive of their skateboarding community. So, <laughs> I mean, like if you look at Embarcadero, which is one of my was one of my favorite places to skateboard, they put skate blocks on it and I can't skateboard there anymore. So, you know, and all the time I'm getting chased by security guards and police officers. See, Chris, according to Max, this is like a really bad skateboarding town. There's just practically no public place for him to go. If I may interject, isn't skateboarding like a really bad thing for a classical guitarist to do? Well, Joanne, you're right. It's not great for the wrist. Well, I wouldn't think so. Mm -hmm. Could we get back to the subject at hand? What in God's name is Max doing skateboarding on the stage of Davies Hall? Well, Chris, this management of the San Francisco Symphony is very cool. Very hip. Did you know that the orchestra here actually plays music written by composers who are still alive? <laughs> Look, I went to them and explained the problem. They gave Max permission to skateboard anywhere in and around Davies Hall, but just for one day. Yeah, so Tempest Fugit. Do you want to see a trick? I'm still reeling from Tempest Fugit, yeah. Well, now that I know what's going on, sure, let's see your stuff. What have you got? Okay, I'm going to do a Nolly 360 inward heel flip. Oh, sounds cool. And then, uh, then you're going to play, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well then, let's get Meta into the action. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Meta Weiss. <laughs> Meta, maybe I could ask you to uh, assist us in this trick, and you could give us a little dramatic tremolo on your cello. Why don't you Why don't you go ahead there? Okay, Max. This will be a first for Davies Hall. Oh, this is so cool. It 
was impressive. And it makes the point that the youth of America needs more understanding from you adults when it comes to extreme sports. <laughs> well, I guess it sort of makes the point, but really, I really want to hear Max play now. So do I. Okay, Max, get back here and tell us what you and Maida are going to play. We're going to play uh, the first movement from Radomis Nyadali's Sonata for Guitar and Cello. This is Max Zuckerman, 16 years old, our guitarist, and Maida Weiss, 15 years old, our cellist, both from here in San Francisco. First movement of Natali's Sonata for Guitar and Cello, played for us by guitarist Max Zuckerman, 16 years old, and cellist Maida Weiss, 15, both from here in San Francisco. Max, you're a great skateboarder, but I appreciate your talents as a guitarist even more. <laughs> Thank you. And Maida, I, lo I love your cello playing. And, Thank and you. Particularly wonderful, I think, is, is the way that you're able to make the cello blend so nicely with the guitar. Is there a special trick to that, or are there things you have to do? Um, well, the cello is a lot louder than the guitar because I play with a bow and Max doesn't have one. Um, so a lot of the time <laughs> I'm a lot louder than he is, so I have to adjust sometimes to make it so that he gets heard. 
It was a particularly beautiful blend. And just Thank both you. of you just played great. Thanks. Well, so Mado, how did you how did you two get together and meet? Um, actually, Max was he played in the band at my bar mitzvah. Um, the band the band that was in my class was going to play, and then the guitarist couldn't be there, so we invited Max. That's how we met. But I sort of knew who he was before we actually met. So Max, you're a, a rocker as well? Yeah, I guess so. That's great. You guess so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I play a lot of rock and roll music. I like, I mean, the guitar is a really versatile instrument. There's plenty of genres of music to play on it. So, I mean, I, I got into the guitar because my dad's kind of a deadhead. So I heard, I heard a lot of, you know, Jerry Garcia. And so when it came time, when my parents asked me if I want to play an instrument, I was just kind of naturally drawn to the guitar. Speaking of which, Maida, you, you're sort of branching out yourself. You just got an electric cello? Yeah, I just got it last year. Um, my teacher, Joan Jean Reno, um, she plays an electric cello sometimes, and I heard her in concert once, and I was like, wow, that's so cool. You can make really loud sounds and all these different types of sounds, and so I got one. That's great. Now, aside from cello, you're, you're also, uh, we have you to thank for a major, uh, for a major astronomical find of some sort. Tell us about that. Yeah, in seventh grade, my friend and I were doing a science project, and her mom is part of the Marcy Butler Fisher team, which has been discovering planets, for, like orbiting other distant stars. And so we, she gave us a real data set to analyze for our project, and nobody actually thought we were going to find anything. And it turns out um, we discovered an M dwarf, which is a type of star, I think it's burnt out, it was really cool discovering it because nobody had seen it before. So, yeah, that's great. I mean, a burnt out start must be in the Betty Ford Clinic now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, if it's not uh, science for you, Maida, it's going to be the law, huh? Are you really interested in being a lawyer or. or yeah, what? I want to be a Supreme Court justice and. <laughs> Actually, um, once I made the mistake of telling my dad that I wanted to be a Supreme Court justice and a fashion model at the same time, and he passed it on to um, Sandra Day O'Connor on one of his business trips, who said that she thought that that is exactly what this country needs right now. <laughs> I heartily agree. I think we, could, we, could, we could see the uh, Supreme Court pinups. You could become a Supreme Court justice and... There you are at your photo session for your official portrait. That's it. That's it, Justice Weiss. Oh, yeah, you know the look. That is the look, baby. Okay, now turn to the left. Give me something special. Give it to me. Oh, yeah, Justice Weiss. That is it. That is the look. Hold it. Oh, man. That Supreme Court pout. <laughs> I hate to bring the gavel down on that bit. I really hope to see that one day. That's really a great, great fantasy, a great goal. Max, what about you? What, what, what are your plans after high school? Well, I'm thinking about pursuing music, mm -hmm. classical guitar. It's a good idea. Yeah. Keep up, keep up the rock and roll too. Keep yeah, up all definitely. your great things, both of you. You're just great guests and beautiful performance that you did together. Great thank, being with you. Thank Thanks you. Thank you. Us. Thank you very much. Max Zuckerman, 16 years old, like his first, and Nader Wise, 15 years old, cellist, both from here in San Francisco.